Let me start this way. You see, when it is God's time, when it is God's good and right timing for you, you are excited going into this relationship. And even the person coming to you is also excited. You meet and of course, in your plans and your day-to-day -day life or conversations, you see that there's something you're planning or you have in your mind to talk about before you even say it, your partner is saying it. There's something you intend to do. Maybe in the next few months, in the next few days, before you even talk about it or before you embark on the, on, on the journey, your partner is already talking about it or your partner is already doing it. It's like two things coming together. You see, these two things are coming together. I have a red this side. I have a red this side. And of course, when these two things are ready, right? I don't know if my camera can really... I'm trying to position them here. If these two things are ready, and of course, this is red, this is red. And of course, they are coming together. You see, the whole thing is round. They are together. I don't know if somebody is trying to understand what I'm trying to say. So when you're planning in your planning, especially when it is God's time for you, see, this space will not be bigger than this space. And of course, this space will not be wider than this place. It comes together and it joins like this because there is already an existing plan because God has gone ahead of you. Of course, you have a standing relationship with him. And of course, he knows the right time for you. And that is why I talk so much about building with God. And of course, in relationships, especially having a time with God, giving God the whole time, allowing God to give you his time, allowing God to bring your relationship to pass in his time. Allowing God to bring the right person for you at his own time. And of course, like I used to tell people, God's timing is always the best because when these two things, like I said earlier, when they are coming together, there is no discrepancy. I don't know. There is just nothing to, there's nothing to worry about because you can see it joins together because there is already an existing plan. There is already an existing plan by your father. There is already an agreement that it is his own time. You have served him faithfully. And of course, he is blessing you because it is his time to bless you. So when he's bringing your partner, he does not bring, God does not bring a partner that fights you. God does not bring a partner you have to struggle to understand. God does not bring, or he wouldn't bring a partner that he will have to struggle to understand you. He will not bring you a partner that you will struggle to talk about a thing. Maybe you are bringing this thing here. And of course, he is bringing this thing here. You know, these two things don't work together. If you're bringing this, and of course, your partner is bringing a fabric. It shows you're trying to make a dress. You're trying to do something. So God brings you somebody that is ready for what you're ready for. God brings you someone that before you speak, like I said earlier, he already, he's already in that pace. He's already in that space waiting to hear that. You see, sometimes when you talk in relationship, especially when it's God's own timing, you're saying something to your partner. I remember those days when I was uh, dating my husband, you know, it, when I say something and he tells me, or when he's saying something, let me start from me. When I'm saying something and he smiles, he said, I actually thought of it. And of course you took it, uh, you actually took it from me. I wanted to say it, but something just blew it. And of course I didn't remember to say it. I was saying something else. It shows you guys are building together and it shows God is already, has already made approval. And that is why Waiting for God's own timing for your relationship is the best. Having an outstanding relationship with God is the best because he pulls you, he pushes, he brings you into it. And of course, with acceptance, every part of you, you are excited. Your partner is excited and anything you're doing, your plans comes together. Everything works together. Everything agrees with each other. That is when you plan with God and you have an outstanding relationship with God. See, there's just nothing you can do, especially in relationship. When I talk about relationship and I say especially in relationship, relationship is something I love to talk about. I, I have seen it around me. You cannot build without God. You cannot have people accept you without you accepting God and of course having that love of a daughter and a father that in between love where you understand your father he speaks to you he gives you direction
He even tells you who to accept to be your friend in the first time. He tells you who to accept to be your spouse. If there's anyone coming, maybe the right one, you're waiting for the right one. He tells you who to who to listen to, who to even have conversation, long conversations with, and what to share, what to say. So having a good standing relationship with God, it's the most important thing before having or going out to have a relationship with men. So if you're a sister, sister out there, and of course, you're planning to have to go into a relationship or you're planning to have someone around you and you don't have an outstanding relationship with God, I will encourage you this moment that you start having a good relationship with God. Not, I'm not talking about you going to church on Sunday and come out of the church. No, you have to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with God. Asking God what you want. This is your heart desire. Presenting, presenting your heart desires to God. And of course, these are your need. He knows your need. He knows what you want. He knows what you, your needs are. And of course, when you're asking, ask that the ones that you need should be the ones that he gives you. Of course, he's your heavenly father. He will give you those ones that you need. And of course, nothing stops you. Like I said, presenting whatever you want. To him is good. But an outstanding relationship with God will help 